What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, we're drawing Pikachu from Pokemon. Let's begin today's lesson in a center page and draw two circles for the eyes. Let's start with the one on the left. We're gonna start from the very top, come all the way around towards the bottom, and then back up towards the top. Now you wanna leave a large gap in between the eyes and draw the same size circle on the right. So we're gonna start by lining up the top, bring that down towards the same height, and then back up. Let's go to the top of each eye and draw a small circle for a highlight. And we'll fill the bottom of the eyes in black. Now we're gonna place the nose in the center in between the eyes, but we're gonna line this up along the bottom edge. So let's start right in the middle with a small oval and fill that in black. In the center, we're gonna move down, draw the mouth, coming down and up toward the left. Go back to the center, come down and then up towards the right. Now from here, we're gonna move out to the side and draw in the cheeks. From the outside of the left eye, let's move out. It's gonna bend the cheeks going out, come down. I'm just gonna bend that in to right about there. Let's line this up over on the right, go out towards the right side, bend the cheek, coming down and then in. Let's curve the side of the head going up and we'll bend that in. Now we're gonna leave a gap for the ears and draw the top of the head. Let's start over on the left, bend this up in the middle, go across and then back down. Now I'm gonna move back down and layer the cheeks along the side. Let's start on the left side, draw a circle, coming in, go all the way around and then back out. And then we'll line that up on the right, going in, around, and then out. Now let's go back up to the top and tuck the ears in behind the head. On the left side, let's step in, curve the ear going up, and we'll bend that out. Let's go over towards the right side, going up, and then bending that out. Let's draw the bottom of the ear, starting from the tip, come down, round up the ear, and just pull that in, And we'll add that trim along the top of the ear, starting up here, then this out, and then down. And I switch to my black brush pen and fill the tips of the ears. Now with the head complete, let's move down and draw the arms across the front of the body. On the left side of the head, let's step out. Just gonna bend the arm, coming around, down, and then in. Let's go over towards the right. I'm gonna bend this out, come around, and then in towards the same height. Let's add four small fingers on each side. I'm gonna go up, and this down and in. I'm just gonna add four points going up towards the top of the hand. Let's do the same thing on the right. Then from here, it's going to bend the arm going up and then out. Now you're going to go to the side of the arm and draw the lower half of the body. Let's start on the left, then it's down and then out. Do the same thing on the right. Let's round out the bottom of the leg, coming around, and then bend that in towards the bottom. Now you just want to pull this up in the center. Bend this up and back down towards the right. Let's tuck the feet in underneath the body. We're start on the left side, then it's down and then out. And we'll round out the foot, come up and then in underneath the body. Let's separate the toes with two curves on the outside, starting along the top, and step down and draw it again. And now we're gonna add the tail over on the right side. Let's start from the side of the body, and goes down with a short line, come up and then in. Let's add another angle line going out. I'm just gonna pull this up and in towards the side of the cheek. I'm gonna curve the end of the tail going up and then out. 
Let's work our way back towards the body, starting from the top, and goes down and then in. It's gonna follow that same curve, coming across, and goes down and then out towards the bottom. Now the tail's gonna get skinnier as you come back in towards the leg. So come in, come down and out, and then back in. Let's separate the end of the tail with a jagged line starting from the inside. And then we'll sign our art and add a splash of color. And that's pretty much it. That's how we draw Pikachu from Pokemon. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single week. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.